Hello everyone, welcome to the Smart Life. In today's video, I'll be discussing the current COVID-19 pandemic like my last video. So in my last video, I covered the fingertip oximeter for measuring the SpO2 or the oxygen level in your blood, which is supposed to be a, an indicator of the coronavirus illness seriousness. So I will reiterate my advice that we should be using the thermometer first and detect your body temperature because uh, the body temperature is one of the most important uh, symptom of the coronavirus illness we should be sticking to the thermometer first and if you get many so many symptoms of the covid-19 then you can measure the blood oxygen level so i i already discussed this before so you can use this it's a very simple device put it into your one of the fingers and it will measure the oxygen level in your blood and it will display the oxygen level here like 98% and this is the heart rate which is 84 so this is a very simple device so i want to discuss other ways of the measuring the uh, spo2 like through other mobile devices or uh, apps in mobile devices and i want to discuss whether these devices are actually accurate or not so there are many claims from the company like Samsung which can measure the SpO2 level in your blood using the mobile devices and the sensors built into their devices. I have two devices here. One is the Galaxy S8 Plus and the another is the Galaxy S9 Plus and both have the heart rate sensor at the back of the device. As you can see here, the this is the heart rate sensor. It can emit a red light and it has a, a light detector or light sensor that can measure the heart rate uh, using your finger. So these are the devices that support the uh, heart rate sensing. But they also claim that they can measure the SpO2 level. I'll discuss that further in this video. So let's go ahead and compare the oxygen levels uh, measured by my dedicated oximeter uh, and the one of the devices right here. So this I'll take the S9 plus. Let's see how the uh, we can measure the S, uh, SpO2 level in your blood using this device. So in order to do that, you have to go to the Samsung Health app here, and you have to go to the Stress tab. But if you don't find the Stress tab, then you have to go to Manage Items, and you have to add the Stress tab like this, and uh, go to the Stress tab and you have to click on measure so you have to put your finger on the sensor here then it will emit the red light like this and it will start to measure the heart rate as well as the uh, spo2 level but they have kept this in the stress tab for one of the reasons uh, that i will discuss soon so as you can see it is measuring the heart rate uh, we have to keep it keep the finger still and uh, you can see the my spo2 level is it says 100 percent but if i measure it let's check the actual oximeter readings so it says 87 bpm and 100 percent uh, spo2 so we can see the actual reading in the device here so it says 96 percent and 84 the heart rate uh, BPM is quite accurate, but the SpO2 levels may not be accurate. So uh, in these kind of devices, the problem is it uses the red light spectrum only. So as uh, discussed in my last video, the SpO2 level should be measured uh, by using red light as well as the infrared light. So the these kind of uh, devices have the red light emitter as well as the uh, red light receiver and the infrared light emitter as well as the infrared light receiver and it can by using these two uh, light spectrums different frequency of the light uh, in the spectrum it can detect the accurate uh, spo2 level in your blood but uh, these kind of devices they have only the red light emitter and they ha also have a sensor and in another case these kind of devices have the red light emitter uh, below uh, like this and they have the sensor on top but these kind of devices they don't have uh, such features because it's a mobile device and you cannot you have a sensor on top of your finger 
so it has a sensor at the same side so this is also one of the ways to measure it in that case the uh, emitter is like this in this case the red led light and it has a sensor and you have your finger here and it's supposed to reflect some of the red light into this sensor so that is how they measure it and this is also one of the ways to measure but it is a less accurate way to measure the spo2 uh, using a receiver and the emitter at the same side of the device so this is one uh, one of the problem and another problem is the lack of uh, the infrared light emitter the infrared uh, frequency uh, is supposed to measure the oxygenated blood levels and the red light uh, is supposed to measure the deoxygenated blood uh, in your hemoglobin and by using these two light together it is supposed to get the highly accurate spo2 level and like this in this kind of a device but since this have only the red light spectrum and the as well as the receiver on the same side of the device it is very inaccurate so coming to this kind of a device uh, like a samsung devices that can measure the heart rate and they also claim to measure the spo2 these kind of devices have this problem of measuring inaccurately and this levels uh, that is measured by the uh, this kind of sensors a single red light sensor without the infrared light on the same side of the device with the receiver is uh, uh, maybe accurate at the high levels of oxygen like for example 96 to 100 percent may be accurate but if it becomes lower means like the uh, like a hypoxic uh, ranges like less than 90 percent or 88 percent this kind of uh, range and the accuracy of uh, this kind of device gets uh, very less so it is very dangerous to use this kind of device for uh, detecting the seriousness of covid 19 disease or detecting the symptoms for using uh, in a day-to-day -day manner for other activities it's quite okay but if you want to use it for detecting some disease or symptoms of some diseases so it is better to stick with this kind of a device but these kind of devices are very uh, hard to get hold on right now but i hope the uh, supply increases with the demand and uh, i suggest you to get one of these devices if it is available so you should not be like relying on these kind of uh, devices that have these heart rate sensors to detect your uh, oxygen level for the uh, disease uh, diagnosis these uh, sensors are available in the samsung galaxy series s4 and the note 4 till s10 but uh, other devices uh, after that the, the s10 plus or s10 5g they don't have the uh, new these uh, heart rate sensors anymore that is because of some controversy uh, that was uh, raised before because samsung claimed that they can uh, measure the spo2 uh, with these device with these uh, sensors but it was uh, proved to be wrong and they had to remove these kind of uh, sensors from their newer devices and they had to move the blood oxygen sensing application in the samsung health app from the uh, actual oxygen sensing tab to the stress management tab or the stress tab because they had to somehow uh, say that uh, it is related to stress and it is not related to your oxygen level and so on so they, they this was the compromise that they have done but it is not actually very accurate because of the lack of the infrared light emitter as well as the sensor being on the same side as the receiver unlike the actual dedicated devices so this is uh, one of the uh, things that i want to tell you and another thing is that the there are so many other apps it's actually uh, samsung in the case of samsung they are actually uh, using their heart rate sensor using the red light led to measure at least the uh, some of the deoxygenated blood in your uh, finger peripheral but uh, some apps claim that they can actually do this by using the flashlight as well and the camera and which is completely wrong and so you should not be taking these kind of apps that they claim they can claim uh, to measure the spo2 level in the current pandemic it is very dangerous at least samsung has some sort of a, a sensor to measure your heart rate and the deoxygenated blood but uh, some apps uh, some other apps from a random app in the play store or ios uh, it is very dangerous they can claim that they can measure the blood level using the flashlight and the camera as a sensor and which is completely 
uh, disastrous and you should not be trusting such apps and you should not pay attention to this kind of apps please be careful and so stick to your symptoms like uh, a fever and a dry cough and if you have these kind of uh, uh, symptoms please get tested and if you are tested positive and if you are feeling well and the, the hospital may be full and if you are supposed to be staying at home in quarantine then it is okay to stay at home but you can use this device to check your oxygen level in your blood and if you are hypoxic and maybe you don't feel that you are hypoxic but this device will tell you that you are and you have to call the emergency to get hospitalized for uh, oxygen supply so this is uh, one of the uses of this device but you should not be relying on any other devices or apps that can claim to do so thank you for watching and uh, please consider subscribing i hope this was helpful see you next time